Good morning guys, uh, welcome back. Um, hopefully you've been following the, the trip and the journey we've had this weekend. Um, uh, landscape, vlogtography adventures, yeah that's us. Or it is going to be now, it's going to be my new uh, Facebook channel, um, or my Facebook page. So yeah, come and join it and uh, join in the adventures. Basically, you know what me and Denise are like, we're always out and about, we're always doing things and uh, we started vlogging it, or I started vlogging it back in uh, February. and. Uh, I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some group meetups all over the country uh, and try and go to some of the places I've been before and some of the places like here that I've never been before. Um, we met up with Mikey yesterday, he came down to visit and he met us up this morning which you would have already seen in the previous vlogs and if you haven't, check them out. I'll put a link up to the first one there, um, so you have checked them out first. Um, Paul's over that way, he's still with us at the weekend. Good lady wire fair, Lady C, she's uh, making her way across the pavement and we've got Steve with his camera out over there. They're like kids in a sweet shop. We've got a dozen of trees here. Every single one of them has got its own unique look and its own way. I'm looking at this one straight behind me at the moment and I'm gonna shoot that. Um, I'm then gonna shoot this because this one, in, this one there next to Denise is absolutely astonishing. And we are at whatever the name of the place is, I'll put down here below, but we are on the limestone pavement uh, near Ingleborough, which is behind us there. There's Ingleborough up there. Um, so yeah, this is where we are on the limestone pavement. This is an absolutely amazing place. If it weren't for the trees, you'd think you were on Mars. Uh, I will vlog a bit for you, because it'd be, it'd be great to show you what we're doing. And uh, hopefully you'll come and join us on another one somewhere else, uh, or even back here. I'm planning on coming back here at least once a year. Uh, we've got a cottage that we can rent up the road. Absolutely bargain, perfect place, perfect location. And this is gonna be one of the places we'll keep coming up to, because every time you come, it's gonna look different. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna set up my camera and uh, get a couple of these trees because I am not going back without an image of these trees. Oh look, bit of light, bit of light, bit of light. Quick, 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 take another one. Perfect. <laughs> the light just came out a little bit between the clouds and as you can probably see on my face. Um, yeah, we're all running around still. Uh, I think Paul's taken about a dozen shots already. Um, this is my first one. It's taken me a little bit longer to set up and get myself going because I'm obviously I'm talking to you and I'm setting up the video cameras and I'm trying to bring you into the image as well. Um, yeah, basically simple tree looking out to nothing. There's nothing behind it. I've got the camera down low as you can see there um, shooting across the, uh, the limestone pavement. I've got, it's hard to work out when you're looking at this, it doesn't look like much of a leading because I'm, everyone's looking for that obvious leading line and there's millions of them. But uh, this one, when I put the camera down lower, it suddenly appeared in the frame. Um, um, I've taken the image anyway, I've already seen, I've already taken the image. I've bracketed the shots because the sky is bright and obviously the shadows in between the rocks. Um, so I've bracketed the image, one over and one under. Um, just so I've got a little bit of detail to play with. If I use it, I do, if I don't, I don't. Um, but I've got to take it anyway. I shot one horizontal and I've also shot one vertical. I think I like the vertical one better. When you put it in a vertical orientation, you get a lead in line. Um, it comes from the bottom right hand, goes up to a V and then it splits and it actually goes either side of the tree, which is pretty awesome because I couldn't quite see that line until I got the composition set up and it's apparent, so apparent on the back of the screen, it really is. So yeah, it's a case of getting your camera out sometimes, moving it around and see if something actually appears in front of you because that definitely appeared in front of me. Because um, like I say, you've got to have some line, something that draws you into that image. The tree that's directly behind you, I'm going to do next. There is a laid in line. The tree's got some messy trees either side of it, but I'm going to try and pick out a part of it because the particular part of it is absolutely amazing. It's leaning right over. It's like the oldest one that's here. Uh, it is just phenomenal. So I'm going to play with that. But yeah, this is the first one in the bag and I quite like this. It's going to probably look a bit mono. There's a few little leaves left on it. Um, it might end up a mono image, but yeah, it's all right. What an absolutely stunning looking tree. If this was on its own, this would be known as the best tree in Britain probably, because it's absolutely bonkers. So twisty and gnarly and old and leaning over. Looks like it's been here forever and ever and a day. Um, I've taken the image. It's going to be a bit, mm, I'm not sure. It's a little tree next to it, which is a bit busy. There's a tree behind it, which is obviously breaking into it. It's breaking some of my rules that I stand by and it's going through the horizon and it's not enough through the horizon to be sticking out and it's not, or not horizon, but the skyline. 
and it's not and I can't get high enough to get it below the skyline so it goes against some of my principles of taking pictures like that um, but I'm going to get home and process it and I'll bob it up to show you what it is to show you what I've been working on because I have got a leading line I've got some lovely little green grass and some flowers or foliage growing in the bottom and it's nice uh, but that's what it is it's nice it's it's not the icing it's it's only nice but yeah worth taking because it's a record anyway um, but there are going to be some more I've got to look around I've got a couple here with foliage on them uh, leaves and they're brown and the sun is clipping them and they're, they're they're gorgeous so Denise is over there on her hands and knees Mikey's having to wander around and Paul's focusing in doing Paul's thing and uh, Steve's over here so yeah we've only started on this place five minutes and we're all over it She's so what? professional at it. What? <laughs> Honestly, she's so pro. Um, hello, we're all having a bit of a laugh about the wife. We can't tell you why, not on camera anyway. If you want to know, PM me and I'll tell you what we're laughing about. Um, but yeah, set up this composition. Again, I'm a bit, uh, I just don't know. I want it to work, I want it to work, but I'm not sure it will. Um, I'll let you decide. I'm going to bob the image up. I'm going to show you it. I'm going to do the best I can in post to make it work. Um, there's going to be a little bit of cheating. I've got a little bit of cloning of a, a little bit of a, a branch to take out. Um, I just love this this line. This is absolutely awesome. I love it. I like the background because you've got the mountain in the background and some mist on it or some low cloud. Um, I bracketed the shot to try and get the, the shadow down the bottom. Um, I don't like the two trees on the right hand side, I prefer it to be on its own, but they're not intrusive, they're, they're pale and they're just sitting there on their own. Um, I, I will process it, I will put it on, I will show you, please let me know what you think. Uh, is it worth keeping, is it not worth keeping? Um, I'm not sure, I'll have a look when I get on post, see what I can do with it. It'll probably end up a mono, because the textures and the, the broken bark and the lines on the bark, or the non-bark, should I say, the lines on the tree, it's so old and I've just come and touched it, and there's hardly anything keeping this branch up. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Just before I switch you off, F11 bracketing, ISO 100, and I'm doing two over, two under, just to give you that dynamic range between the sky and the, the shadows. So yeah, that's the camera settings. So yeah, let me know. been mooching around having a look uh, can't quite work out which one I like the most um, I'm struggling if I to be honest yeah I'm struggling if I'll be honest there's a bit too many there's a few too many trees the one I'm stood in front of looks great when you're near it probably looks even better from back there the two that Paul's shooting at the moment he's just shooting these two here they lit up nice and light with the Sun on them um, I'll probably have a look at those two in a moment roughly from where Paul is somewhere around that area um, yeah, they, they sort of stand out. And again, you've got the mountains behind them and the clouds and everything. Um, I'm going to try shooting this one um, in front of me at the moment. I've got two, two little trees together. There are two on the left-hand side, which aren't too distracting. Um, it's just the colours on the leaves. I want to take one home with the colours on the leaves. Uh, again, I'm not 100% sure. I like it from here. There's no leading line. It's just, it's just pathway. It's just loads and loads and loads of rocks leading up. But it's, in, it's framed in Ingleborough. Uh, which I quite like and there's a little bit of light at the moment at the top of Ingleborough so I'm going to take this I've swapped the lens over now to the 24-105 I was using the 16-35 which is probably why I'm not getting anything it's just a bit too wide um, so I'm going to try this take a couple of shots take a couple more and then we'll wander up a bit further and try and find some trees a little bit more alone um, yeah I think it's just a bit too busy for me
always put my lens cap on always 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 when you're walking around please do this put your lens cap on if you drop your camera if you fall the first thing that's going to go is your lens all right put your lens cap on that's the best protection you're going to give it uh, i think we've um absolutely murdered this lot these lot these three have been sat down here for about another half an hour waiting for me to finish and i finished and paul's still going over there all you can hear is beep 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 click beep 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 click and it's just going on and on and on and on he said he did turn the bleep off at one point and it was annoying him i thought it's annoying everybody <laughs> but uh yeah you know he's enjoying himself and i'm sure he's got an absolute corker out of this uh, we were just jesting about it just now wouldn't it be funny if all mine weren't sharp i said yeah it would be but no he, he'll, he'll bust one definitely um i think i've got one i think i've got one um I'm not sure of the other guys i know mikey wasn't feeling it he's taking a couple of images he's not sure about um, he's going to play with them in post and he's hoping they're going to come out as he hopes um, but yeah he's not quite feeling it uh, he's found a couple of compositions he's going to come back though so expect to see something from him i dare say he'll come up here and vlog it he's getting very tempting to vlog him uh, so he'll come up here vlog it and show us all an amazing piece of artwork um, snow and you know all that sort of stuff as for the other two denise is uh playing with her boot laces and uh steve's had a couple of shots i think he's quite pleased with what he's got uh, but it's like you all know or if you don't know it's all down to the post processing when you get home and you put them on a big computer it's like oh i've done something wrong or oh i didn't know it's that so yeah we won't know until we get home as much as we should all be a bit more a bit more professional about it it does get sometimes you get carried away this is like a sweet shop you're like oh 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 and you get a bit distracted um look at the path behind us there that's where we're going now up that way so the sun keeps coming out on it and we're just going to go for a walk now until something really really jumps out as soon as i see something that's really jumping out i'm on it so i'll be back then right on the way up to the path steve spotted this tree at the same time as i did he said i like that tree i said yeah i like that tree uh so we've just come down the bank which you can see behind us i think that's paul up on the top there uh we come down the bank we've got this lovely sweeping wall all the way through i'm going to take two images i'm going to take a wide image um, with all this there's a cut down tree or a broken tree that's been chopped up down on the right, bottom right hand side and there's this tree sticking out the side of the cliff uh, you can't quite see the limestone path behind it but because of the image the way it's laid out there's no other choice i've got the tripod up high and steve stood right next to me this is slightly lower than mine um, the light's gone in it's going to come out in a minute i think there's a, there's a light over in the distance so the light's just going to come out behind so be prepared for me to chuck you on the floor while i take an image um, i've got the composition set up ready just waiting for the light uh, i'm on f8 i'm bracketing one over and one under just to make sure i do get it all in one because the light's coming and going we haven't got time to shoot twice uh, and then i'm going to take another one i'm going to zoom in on the tree and just get a picture of the tree and the little curve beautiful curve in the wall uh, a really nice image just one slight thing that i'm not happy with but we can live with that um, yeah i think it's quite nice we just need that light without the light it's so flat We've got to get a bit of light on this. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> James Burns, not Simon Burns, I just said. James Burns, Jelly Babies, proper. Oh, and the wife's going to give me half a little croissant you think. We've got a bit of an argument going on. Have you seen this lot behind me? Have you seen this lot? Have you seen them? Look at them. Look at them, waiting, trying to force me out of my spot. I was here first. Me, 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 me. <laughs> look at this. Look, 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 look at that. That is what I've come for that's the sort of thing I'm looking for absolutely amazing shape it looks dead I don't know whether it is or not but it's just amazing it's leaning over the top of the mountain it's looking over the mountain yes it's flat I've converted the camera over to black and white now um, this is I'm going to start shooting in mono um, when I get back to Lightroom they'll be in color but I'll just convert them back to black and white but this is what we came for this this is the limestone path and these are the sort of trees you look for i've got the camera set up uh it's at the moment it's on 5.6 which it shouldn't be it's just because i was shooting that thing before uh, let's wind it up to f9 um i'm not bracketing i'm just going to get the exposure right which is pretty much bob on 125th of a second and uh yeah two second timer iso 100 tripod 
bang on, absolutely amazing. Aren't I nice? I've moved out of the way for him. <laughs> Paul's nice enough though, he'd stand there, he wouldn't say a horrible word. <laughs> Lovely composition. He's come back. I've, I've come back to a similar place to him again. Um, up there, cracking shot, absolutely loved it. But I had no actual leading. But from down here, the further I walked back, the more the leading started to appear. And what Paul's done is Paul's gone horizontal, uh, his Paul's gone vertical, which is probably where I'd end up. I'm going to try horizontal to start with. I'm trying to get this bold on the right hand side and the tree and the mountain to give you those three little points to look at. But I'm going to end up vertical um, because I want this leading. I want to try and put some lines leading up to the tree, and then takes you over to the mountain in the background. But that is absolutely spectacular. From down here, you're getting a slightly different view on it. It's a lot higher um, and there's less rocks in front of it. But no, awesome. Here we go again. Right, vertical orientation. Oh, I thought I can't remember what I was saying before the battery went flat. Something about Paul. Yeah, that was it. Um, yeah, the camera, I was. 12 inches away it just didn't work so as soon as Paul moved over I've moved over roughly where he was in fact I've probably come over just a few more inches further over the reason being if when you see this image you'll understand why I'll show you the image I've just taken and I'm going to show you this image side by side all right this image I think is 10 times better than the one I've just taken next to it now you make up your decision I want you to let me know what you prefer the one on the left or the one on the right okay a or B that's the decision you tell me what you think and I'm literally stood probably 18 inches the camera was moved over that's it 18 inches so this is the image I'm happy with this is the image I want to take um, I'm bracketing I'm gonna bring the exposure down the reason I'm bracketing because you've got some dark shadows but on the mono um, hopefully you saw the mono on this back of this screen yeah absolutely amazing I've got a little bit of sky in it I may raise it up and get a bit more sky in it but this is an absolutely corking image. Lovely little leading line, tree on the horizon, and underneath the shape of the tree, if you look at the shape of the tree, you'll get to see the mountain in the background. I've moved over that few more inches than Paul just to get that shape of the tree to hug the shape of the mountain. And I'm really happy with that. Really, really nice. If I don't get another one today, I'm not bothered. We're gonna have to go soon anyway, and this vlog's turning into quite long, and I don't want it Crikey, battery went flat on the recording camera. Yeah, batteries are going flat. I'm losing all my batteries now. It's chilly, it's windy. And uh, yeah, Denise was, she was up there on the ridge just now. I can't see any of them. They're all up on the limestone pavement. So I'm gonna walk. Guess who we found? <laughs> Mrs. C. Oh. All right, wife. This. This is. This is pretty much what the limestone path is like. This is a very busy part of the limestone path. Um, the best part of the limestone path is way up that way, where it's just completely stonework everywhere you stand. Um, it's just constant, constant, constant path, nothing around, no trees, no anything. But as you can see all around me, there's trees absolutely everywhere. But, 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 it's absolutely fantastic. Brilliant place, brilliant weekend, and a good laugh or two. Right, let's stop spinning you around, because you're probably feeling sick. Oh, look at this, the good lady wife's got some biscuits. <laughs> We're gonna say thank you. Uh, thank you for sticking with us, and we both like to, wouldn't we like we'd like this to work wouldn't we we'd like this to work we'd like to do more of this i've mentioned it before we'd like to do more of this all over the country this is one of the places we're going to keep coming back to uh, so if you fancy coming here if you're a bit unsure whether you know where to go how to get here what to do when you are here hook up with us on one of the meetups keep an eye out on facebook i'll try and put it on instagram when i work out how to do it um, if not just keep an eye on the vlogs and i'll mention it in a vlog occasionally um, we will be coming back we're stopping in the same cottage we've got ribble head we've got all this if you want to do it let us know you can always private message us and we'll arrange something whatever it doesn't matter we've had a great weekend friday saturday and sunday has been brilliant sunrises sunsets and even a bit of astro and uh, yeah i'm going to say bye
Denise isn't going to say bye because she's got a biscuit in her mouth. <laughs> Right, we're heading back to the car now. Uh, we're all done. Paul's got his winner for next year's competition. I've got a couple of corking images, I reckon. Mikey's got a few. He, he thinks he's done quite well uh, before the accident, that is. Um, he lost his mojo a bit afterwards, plus the fact he can't take any pictures. Um, <laughs> I've got my mobile phone. How he hasn't punched me in the Here face, I don't know. Yeah, he's got a mobile phone. Um, Denise has taken a few as well. So I'm sure she's got something pretty good. And you don't have to ask me. I'll bob an image of hers up. I'm going to grab an image off of everybody, I think, today. Uh, if everyone can send me an image of a tree, that'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> and of course, Steve, who's following us behind, he's put a brave face on it today because we all know he's in agony with his back. But he's still soldiered on and uh, been a proper trooper on it. And you know, well, it's like anything else. You, you just want to do it. You don't want to give up. I know I've put myself through some pain in the past and then suffered. So he's going to probably be suffering tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Too stubborn to give um, So I want to say thanks to the guys. It's been a good weekend. I've enjoyed the company. We've all had a bit of a laugh, haven't we? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, look forward to the next one. So from the wife and I, who's done all the cooking, we've got to thank Denise, because she has. She's done a lovely chilli last night and she's done um, homemade tomato soup the night before. So yeah, without that, it wouldn't have been quite the same. So have got to thank the lady wife as well. So I'm going to log off now, say so thanks for watching, I hope you caught up with the other couple in the series. Um, it's a long weekend to vlog the whole lot in one go, so I have broke it up into four or five um, little mini ones, even though they're little long mini ones from me. Uh, nothing's mini when it comes to me and vlogging, is there? Um, I hope you found something you enjoy, I hope you enjoy some of the images, and uh, please leave a comment, please like and subscribe, maybe tell a friend and share the video. Uh, it all means the world to me when people comment. So yeah. Take it easy, till next time, ciao for now.